Okay, so welcome to this video. Um, this is a tutorial on making title sequences. Um, as requested by one of my fans, um, Dalek Cyber, she wants me to make um, a tutorial on making intros. Um, I make mine on VideoPad. Um, I will get you the link to the um, thing in the description below. Um, so basically, this is how I make a title sequence. Um, I go onto YouTube um, and I type in Doctor Who Vortex 3. Um, I shall show you that now. As you can see, I type in Doctor Who 3 or uh, Doctor Who Clean or fan made um, and it comes up with different stuff um, and I find one that I like um, you know I've used different ones over the years um, I can't actually find the one that I'm using for this video but um, yeah uh, okay so we're back in video pad um, as you can see I have one here um, so what I do is I put this onto my timeline. Um, now this clip is only 25 seconds, which you know that's okay, I suppose, for um, a tap sequence. And as you can see, this has some audio, but it's not actual audio. So I right-click, press only from audio, and then I press delete clip, and it completely deletes the audio track. Um, then I go to audio, and I've already imported these files from uh, thing, but you know I got the music. Um, video file files. Um, I'm gonna have to do that so that I can do this, so that I can do unlink from video, as you can see. Uh, delete selected clip. So I can put it there. And then I can oh, cut it down to that. Um, so it's nothing major. Um, and then what I do is I go back to the start, and um, I've already got a Matt Smith figure um, in a green screen. Uh, what I did is I went onto Google, and um, basically this is what I did on Google. Um, okay, so basically. I went onto Google Images and I typed in Doctor Who Matt Smith figure PNG, um, which is basically a figure without a background. Um, and then I searched it, but it is for some reason not. Ah, there we go. Um, and then eventually, after taking a long search for uh, Doctor Who figures, I found one which was a group. Um, of series six figures, um, and basically what I did is in Pizap I got a green background and I cut Matt Smith's top out of it, like top part of Matt Smith out of it, and put him on the green screen that I will now use for the um, title. I mean, obviously you don't have to do this, but that's what I chose to do. Um, so yeah, John him on. Okay, so basically this is what we do. Um, uh, one thing I forgot to do is the adding the TARDIS in. Um, obviously you don't have to have a TARDIS in it, but if you choose uh, to, that is easy too. Um, so you add Matt Smith in. Um, go to this little star button on here. Um, something will then pop up um, when it decides to. Um, I'll come back to you when it decides. Ah, there we go, it's popped up anyway. Um, so you go to Add Effect, um, and you go, and then you've got all these here, but you go to Chroma Key, um, yeah, and you you click on that, and then you click on the green, um, and you Chroma Key out um, the green, and then go to Add Effect again, Chroma Key, Chroma Key. Um, and it comes up, and then you've got a dark green. So 
we've got custom colors go to add custom colors click on that okay and then oh too much should be alright uh, not much green there and you close it um, and then you've got Matt Smith in a Doctor Who Vortex um, and then what you do is you go to add text and you type in Matt Smith um, this won't be an actual title sequence this is just basically showing you some stuff uh, and then you know you click this text button here you've got bold or if you don't want bold you could have uh, slanted and you could you could have bold and slanted um, and you know you've got different stuff you could have it like that you could have it like that um, I use impact for mine uh, which is down here I mean this is the one that I use for the spy partners but you know um, got impact which I like and you know you can have it like that it can change color to you know you can have it like a grey colour and you could have other like thing like um maybe darker version of that. Okay that didn't work. Um possibly a light grey like that. Um and you know you could have it like that. And you could add the text in. And if you think that's too small, um but I think that's about right for it. Um and then what you could do is you could have like um shatter effect or a zoom um and get another zoom and all zoom and that looks pretty much like this. Okay, that didn't work. Um it looked pretty much like this. But I think what we need is the writing doing a different thing. Um, so the writing could flip, so you get something that looks like this. But I don't think we should do the flip because the thing starts to flip and it's not good. We'll just like wipe, not wipe it from top to bottom. We'll wipe it from left to right, um, and that should look something like this. Yeah, that's alright. Um, and then of course you will add the companion's name and that. And then later on, down the line, you add um, Doctor Who logo. And, you know, if you wanted that to be cool, you could, um, well, you could, um, you could add a mirror or um a negative thing to it. I, that that doesn't look that good but you know. Uh you could have opacity um but that's just like fade. I use that if I do um well I've used that for um, for the series two title sequence of the cold blooded so um yeah but uh, we're gonna delete this stuff. So I don't want opacity. Um and you could have um saturation, so you darken it. Uh like that. Um and you know you could have hue cycle. Um maybe, but it doesn't really work. Ah no. And then, you know, you could add, what, zoom out, um, so it looks a bit like, watch, in fact, watch this screen here. Um, 
And you know, you, you just basically do stuff like that. And if you want the TARDIS, hang on, let me go add the TARDIS. You would get the TARDIS uh, from YouTube. Um, I'm not going to put it in, but then you'd add it in using add file and find it in your files and you put it in. You chroma key it out. This is one that takes me ages to edit with, but um, chroma key the green out. Um, um, yeah, it's got a fantastic title sequence then. Um, obviously, don't put in the uh, don't put in the title sequence written by sons written by you. Um, unless you're writing the whole every episode for the series, and don't put the title of the episode unless you're having a different title sequence for every episode. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This has been a tutorial on how I make um, and how to make um, a good title sequence. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Remember, like, comment, and keep subscribing.